Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to show you a brand new accessory that we just finished testing this past week for the DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. It's a landing gear kit that was specifically designed to add just a little bit of height to the drone for takeoff and landing. So if you come down in tall grass, or maybe you're landing in soft dirt, you won't have to worry about transferring that dirt and debris and moisture to your camera, the fragile gimbal assembly, or the sensors on the bottom of the drone. Now I've talked about landing gear kits before for all the models of folding drones on the market, and I think it very well may be the most important accessory you'd want to consider for your kit because the design of a folding drone is brilliant. And I remember back when DJI first introduced the Mavic Pro, before that, we actually were flying fixed airframe drones like the Phantom series, and they worked great. There was no problem with the drone, but the challenge was because they were fixed airframes, they were big. So if you wanted to take them on vacation, you had this big suitcase you had to bring along. So when the Mavic Pro first came out, I was blown away by the design of that because what the engineers at DJI did was to say, let's take a fixed airframe and make the arms foldable so it's portable, but when I unfold the arms, I've got a full-size drone that's going to fly just like the Phantom 4. And they've continued that design through the Air Series, now with the Mini Series. And the challenge, though, is that even though it's a brilliant design, it's a bit of a catch-22 because it has to be small enough where you can fold it up and put it in your bag. And when you unfold it, it does fly like a regular-sized drone. But the challenge is they can't have big feet sticking off the bottom to give you the clearance so that that camera and gimbal don't touch the ground. So if you look closely at the front of this, you can see how close that camera is to the ground. But the bigger issue with the Mini 3 Pro is that the gimbal assembly is now on the bottom. And if you look closely, that's the lowest point of the drone. Okay, it's not lower than the feet. The feet are a little bit lower, but from the drone's perspective, that's the lowest point. So the clearance isn't really the camera to the ground, it's the gimbal to the ground. And honestly, that's the most sensitive part of the drone for me because if I come down in wet grass, I can wipe the camera off. I can wipe the sensors off. But if moisture gets inside that gimbal, there's nothing I can do about it. And because it's a mechanical device, that debris is eventually gonna catch up with you. So we started a hunt for a landing gear kit that we could use with the Mini 3 Pro. I think we brought seven or eight different kits in. We tested them all out. And the challenge we found is that most of the landing gear kits fell into one of two categories. They either attach to the body of the drone or they attach to the arms. Now, in previous versions of the drones that had little feet on the arms, like the Mavic series and the Air series, I didn't mind putting landing gear kits on the arms because the drone was designed to absorb the shock of landing through those arms. The Mini 3 was designed to land on these two feet and the two feet that are on the battery assembly in the back. So they really want to land this thing on its center of gravity. They're not putting any kind of strain or stress on the arms. So the kits that attach to the arms worried me a little bit because we're kind of changing the design of the drone. I didn't, I wasn't sure how it would affect the aerodynamics of the drone. So a lot of things were in play there. So we tested those, but I wasn't really crazy about them because again, to add them and take them off takes a little bit of time. We settled on finding a landing gear kit that attached to the drone and stayed underneath the drone, and that's exactly what this product provides. Now, the big advantage with this one over some of the other ones, uh, there's a couple advantages, but the primary advantage is it folds up nice and small. A lot of the other ones had feet that were fixed, so these feet actually ratchet out, which is important because if you're trying to put this away in a small bag because you've got a small drone, you don't want one that the feet are permanently stuck out like that because where am I gonna fit this in my kit? Right? I don't want to stick it in my kit and have these feet sticking out. So I love the fact that I can fold these feet in and make it really, really thin. They're also ratcheting out. So if you listen closely, here they click out and click back in. So there's a ratchet mechanism on the top that are going to hold them firmly. I also like the feet extending out from the body a little bit. Some of the others had the feet directly underneath it, which again, minimizes your landing zone. So if it's heavy winds, it may tip over. And if it tips a little bit, you're going to hit the props on the ground. So I like these feet come out from the sides. It looks like a I don't know, it looks like a bulldog there or a sweat of spider that's got this really wide base to land on. So I like that an awful lot. I also love the fact, and I know it's a small point, that it matches the color of the drone. I don't like accessories that kind of stand out, that don't look stock. This looks stock. It looks like it was designed by the company that built the drone. And to add it to the drone, it couldn't be easier. You'll notice on the front, you got these two feet right here. This has two little slots cut for the feet. So you basically open up the band like that. You'll put it on the bottom of the drone to match up these slots with the feet. It fits up against the body, extend the strap over the top, and then just attach it over here to this little post that sticks out. And that's it. And it's on the drone. And you can see now how much higher it is off the ground. And it also, I really believe, adds a lot of stability to the drone during landing. So this thing's got a wider base to land on than it does without the landing gear attached to it. A couple other things to consider. Um, I know if you're a hand launcher and hand catcher, you're probably looking at this and going, Rick, that's an accessory I'm never going to use. But listen to me for a second. I know you hand launch and hand catch, but how many times have you put a drone up, especially one that can fly as long as this drone can, and you're up there for 25, 30 minutes, and all of a sudden the wind kicks up. Now the drone's heading back, and you've got to catch that drone. 
and, and the drone's moving around in the air and you're trying to get your hand underneath it. This one has crash avoidance sensors on the bottom, so they're seeing your hand as maybe a dangerous thing, so it's gonna move around a little bit more. And even if it didn't move, you're reaching into the air in a heavy wind for essentially a Cuisinart <laughs> that's got spinning props on it. I'm not taking a chance on that. So having a landing gear kit on your drone, even if you hand launch and hand catch, gives you that safety net to say, I can't catch it. I launched, I launched it from my hand, but I can't catch it in my hand. So let me land it over there and, and it'll be safe. And if you're thinking, well, I use a landing mat or Rick, I never take off from the grass. I always take off from a parking lot. Just think a second about all the stuff that's on that parking lot, whether it's macadam or concrete, take a piece of tape and put it on the parking lot and pick it up. All the stuff that's stuck to that tape is gonna get kicked up from the downward prop wash from this drone when it takes off and when it lands, and it's gonna be airborne. It's gonna get airborne and sucked into your front vent on the unit. It's gonna get up inside the gimbal and all over your camera. So for me, this is a really inexpensive accessory compared to the cost of the drone. It's incredibly easy to use. We've tested it for the last five weeks. We've had it really early. And of all the ones I tested, this is the one we settled on. And just like every time we find an accessory we like, we bring it in, we offer it up on the Drone Valley website. So I've got a link below where you can go check it out on our website. I've got a link to Amazon as well if you'd like to prefer uh, buying it off of that platform. But for me, um, everybody's different. You know, I know you have different needs than I have, but I like to present these accessories as things that we use, we recommend, and I think really protects the drone. And this one's a really simple one, but as I said a few minutes ago, if you're looking at accessories, there are some out there that are nice to have and they'll add to the drone value. This one is a must to have as far as I'm concerned because as a pilot, one of my favorite things to do after flying for 25 or 30 minutes is see how good I can get coming back to the landing pad and putting this down right on the H. And the challenge is with the landing gear on there, when I land on the mat, especially when I'm beginning to take off, that gimbal's gonna move around checking its range of motion. But I find the weight of the drone pushes down on the mat just enough where that gimbal is going to get caught up. So having the landing gear on there means I can land, I can take off. I have no issues whatsoever with that gimbal and the camera and the sensors getting full of debris and dirt when I land on a, a surface that's maybe uneven or in tall grass. So anyway, that's all I had for today. Uh, I love reviewing these kind of accessories. So if you have questions about this, drop those in the comments below. I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. I will tell you that we have been flying like crazy this summer. We've had some beautiful weather here in Jersey. I'm out testing the gear. I'm testing the drone. We've got a lot of accessory reviews coming up. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel at this point, I say it every time, what are you waiting for? We have so much good information that we're putting up on the channel. We have new drone uh, reviews coming very soon on a lot of products you care about. So hit that subscribe button down there and join the Drone Valley family because we love doing this kind of content and you guys seem to enjoy it. So thanks an awful lot for watching. And until next time, as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.